What's going on guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a current favorites and I haven't done one of these in a long time but I thought it would be fun to share a little bit of my fitness favorites, beauty favorites, and also a podcast favorite because you guys know that I'm really big into podcasting. That's why I have my own podcast, Beyond the Bikini Radio, but I also just listen to other podcasts to learn more. I do apologize for having my back door open. Mm, that's not weird. Um, I hope just likes to sit out there whenever it's nice out so she'll sit in the sun and she's really enjoying herself so I refuse to close it. But anyway guys, let's get started. I'm going to start with the beauty products first and then move on from there. So the first favorite that I want to talk about is what I wear a lot and that is the Morphe Liquid Lipsticks. This color right here is in Hot Shot and I just love how this looks on my skin tone. I'm pretty pale and I think that it just kind of brightens up my face and I like to do a bright lip whenever my eyes are a little bit more natural. Um, this lasts pretty, pretty much all day for me too and I'm in Florida so it's hot, I'm drinking throughout the day, I'm talking a lot throughout the day and I don't really notice it like fall off my lips. Um, I have this, not this color, I have this product in the color Peanut Jealousy, um, Nibble, and Vanity Taunt, and True Story. So I have a lot of colors, and honestly, these are probably my go-to liquid lipstick. I don't really use any other products, and they're only like $10 at Ulta, so that's like my go-to for my lips, since you guys always ask. The next favorite product of mine is going to be a primer. I've never been like a big primer person, but I recently just purchased this, so that's saying a lot. It's this e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. Um, it's in like a weird sort of tin like this, but whenever I put this product on my face, not only does it hydrate my skin and I have normal to dry skin, it also just makes my skin look really smooth and healthy and glowy. And whenever I put my makeup on, I feel like it lasts pretty good throughout the day. And this is halfway through the day after a workout and two walks outside and my makeup is looking pretty good. So really happy with that product. It's only $8 and I found it at Ulta. Okay, the next product is going to be some self tanner. And I know that I'm not tan by any means, but when I do like to do a tan, I like to utilize the self tanner. Um, I've been using Glow Pro Tans and I really have been loving this product here. I just searched it on Amazon. Um, I've been doing that a lot with a lot of my beauty products, but I just searched it on Amazon and I was like, oh, like this looks pretty good. So I gave it a go. Um, the smell isn't the best to be honest, but it's just like a mousse self tanner. I really like this product because you can build it up and the color looks really natural, especially if you're pretty like porcelain white like I am. Um, I just feel like it gives me a nice overall look. And they have different percentages for the color. I do have the Ultra Bronze, which is 14% DHA. That's the darkest that they have. So for me, um, I look you know decently tan with that color and it lasts for roughly about a week, which is pretty normal for self tanners. Okay, so for all of my fitness girls out here, if you guys know what this is, dry hair spray, okay, dry shampoo. You, 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 you need this, okay, if your hair gets greasy like mine does, but the Batiste one in particular, this bottle is from Marshalls, which is, it sucks because they're closed right now because we're in quarantine, but it, once they open up again, you can get this at, yes, you can get this at Marshalls. And this whole bottle was only $9 and it's lasted me for a very, very long time. But the reason why I like this brand specifically is it smells really good and it just looks really nice on blonde hair. If you're a brunette, this probably wouldn't be the best product for you, but for blondes, dry shampoo can make your roots look a little bit brighter and nice. That's why I like it. And plus, washing my hair all the time when I'm trying to work on growing it out isn't ideal. So utilizing a dry shampoo is going to help my hair have its natural oils and grow a little bit healthier and better. Okay, let's move on to some of my fitness favorites. So speaking of quarantine, I've been doing a lot of my at-home workouts utilizing bands. And my favorite bands, and I, guys, I apologize because I know that they're sold out, but it's Hope's Fitness Gear. 
these bands are great. I have this small one right here. I have the thicker bands. I have their booty bands. I have their um, hip circle, their booty hip circle. All their products are great. And not only are they great, they also are a charitable company. So if you purchase from them, they also donate, I believe it's 10% of what you purchase to a charitable um, service to help children. So I love the company. Um, I love what they stand for and their bands are such good quality. You guys, I've been, you know, in person training for years. I've been in the fitness industry for a very long time and the quality of these bands are great. I've never had one break on me. I've never had one like fray on me at all. I've had these again for years and the quality is fantastic. So been loving this product. Okay, a next favorite of mine, it's actually not fitness related. I just forgot about this one because it's super random. It's a candle. <laughs> I never thought I would be the girl that's into candles, but the older I get, the more I'm into them. My mom got me this candle. I believe it's from Bath and Body Works. It's in Champagne Toast. Yes, my nail looks horrible. Welcome to quarantine. It's just, you gotta accept it. But um, Champagne Toast is the name of this color color what candle and it smells really good it doesn't smell like champagne it just reminds me of the l'oreal shampoo like the kids shampoo that's nostalgic so really good candle um i just put it on while i'm working in my kitchen i love how it smells next product is fitness related and it's going to be leggings so for all my ladies out there who want high-waisted leggings that are really flattering on their glutes, these are the leggings that I recommend. Unfortunately, with this product, they do like quarterly releases throughout the year, so just make sure you give them a follow. It's called Navigate, it's N-V-G-N. No, N-V-G-T-N. -N. Uh, these leggings right here, I've been getting so many compliments on them. Not only are they super comfortable, they're relatively affordable. Um, nice high waist seamless super flattering on the glutes they have this like shading right here which looks really nice um, and making your bum look nice and rounded and they're very thick they're squat proof I have no complaints on these leggings the most comfortable pair of leggings I've ever purchased in my life um, and that's saying a lot because I love my Lulu aligns and I really really like those Next product is fitness related, and that is going to be my Bomar Nutrition High Protein Cashew Spread Cookie Butter. This is amazing, you guys. I love snacking on rice cakes with peanut butter, um, but I love cookie butter specifically. If you guys can't tell, this jar is like just about done so. But what's great about the Bomar Nutrition Protein Peanut Butter is in two tablespoons of this, there's 10 grams of protein. This peanut butter spread in particular, I should say cashew spread, is eight grams of fat. So it's a little bit lower than traditional types of nut butters. And there's 13 grams of carbs in there. That's because there's legit cookie pieces in there. It's so good, you guys. Like I have so many flavors of their nut butters, but this one like has to be one of my top products. Okay, so we are moving on to the last product and that is going to be another supplement. And that's going to be my Bomer Nutrition Vegan Protein. This is in the Blueberry Donut. I always wanna say Blueberry Muffin, but I guess they're the same thing. Um, blueberry Donut, I eat this in my oatmeal every single night. Sometimes I eat my oatmeal twice a day just so I can have this. And I go through this so fast. If you guys need proof, there you go. There's like no more product. I already need to order some more. What's nice about vegan protein is when you mix it in your oats, it has a nice thick consistency. But with this product in particular, it's very low in carbs and low in fat, which is really hard to find for, for really hard to find with a vegan protein. And per one scoop, there's 20 grams of protein in this. So by far my, my favorite vegan protein I've ever tried. Um, and then for more information with Bomer Nutrition, just check out the link link down below description down below if you guys can't tell i'm brand new to youtube because i keep on messing up what descriptions and links are but anyway for more information on bomar nutrition you can check out the description down below and if you guys are enjoying these videos don't forget to hit subscribe and hit the notifications down below i'd appreciate it so so much and i will see you guys in the next one